the day has the time has come to learn about one of the most popular and quite frankly most powerful part of the org mode. We have now um, I have created an imaginary tiny schedule here. Let me show you how it looks like. I have a lot of things to do next week apparently. I also have to imagine my non-existing Aunt May. Or not May, I have to visit her. I can imagine her as well, but that's it's not the point. But here's the thing, we can let Emacs actually manage our life. Okay? Now what we have here is just a file with some tasks arbitrarily marked. And we have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have these categories. We have a few items, they are all set as to do, and that's about it. So every time you complete a task, you have to come back here and mark the task as done. And that's all fine and dandy. But many of our tasks, um, they actually, there's a specific day we have to complete it on, or at least start it on, and eventually even a time. And there is a way to do this very easily. Uh, let's say, let's go to go to work. And let's make sure that we go to work at, say, I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. We can add a scheduled time and a date for it. And it's very easy. All you have to do is turn on screen key. God damn it. Why does this keep happening? And hit Control C, Control S. What's going to happen is you get this little buffer. And you can totally switch to it. Actually, you can't. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I don't have this installed. But you can click on the day. That's the easiest way to do all of this. Monday, the 15th. I'll just click on it. And nothing happened. Seemingly. Let's unwrap this. We, have, we now have this scheduled um, line here. With a date. Date is one thing. What about the time? I don't know. I just edit manually. Remember, Ori mode, it's plain text. You can open this in any editor of your liking, the editor of your choice, all over this plain text in the end. So right after Monday, I'm going to go in and say, I don't know, 7.30, okay? Let's uh, leave for work, 7.30 in the morning. And let's, let's add some more. Let's do some more schedules. Like, yeah, this item is actually good for it. Go to brunch. We can do Control C, Control S. We go we go to brunch on Tuesday, at the 16th. But let's let's do it a bit differently this time, because you can. Eh, why does this keep happening? You can add date and time here, and the time I want to go there on noon, but the day isn't set yet, and you can't really do anything about it. Right, begin of history, no preceding item. You can use, or actually you can't because I still don't have the extension installed. So I'm just going to type in the time and click on Tuesday, which is the 16th. It's going to save the time that I um, input. And that's actually, I think, the default and preferred way for org mode to do this. It actually, it's, it's scheduled it for 7.30, let's change that. Let's do one more so I can make sure that you have same defaults. Say, I don't know, when do, you, when do people go to brunch? Doesn't matter. Send in report. Let's say I would like to send in the report on Wednesday, 17th. But let's add, let's add a time. Uh, this time maybe. Yeah, it, it works correctly. Everything works correctly. Those, those are schedules. Those are very nifty and useful. But there is another part that I would like to show you. This one works a very similar way. But it's a deadline. So schedule being, you know, a task is scheduled or scheduled, whatever, to a specific point in time. This is the point in time where you got started. Deadlines, you know what a deadline is. You have to be done with the task. Control C, Control D as a deadline. Deadlines work, you know, absolutely the same way. So let's say the latest time I would like to visit my aunt on Wednesday is 8 p.m. Let's add a deadline. Okay, now with this out of the way, 
how is that actually useful? That's a great question. Let's save this. I'm going to show you. The first and most important part is you have to point an Emacs to a org file. This org file is called lesson1.org and it's in my home directory. Uh, you should be adding this to your configuration file. I'm going to just use the scratch buffer for it. All you have to do is you know, put it in the on the screen in, in your config, that's it. And we are going to change a variable called org agenda files. Files, just like this. And the value we are going to pass in is actually the simplest way. You don't even need to like expand stuff. You can just yeah, you can just use like quote um What's wrong with the key map today? It's called wait, what was it what was the file called again? A test wait no it was called lesson one dot org, right? Yes. It was. Lesson one org. Say actually why do I even say let's just evaluate this? And now Here's where the magic happens. Let's launch org agenda. What happens now is, um, I mean, we just have to press a key for an agenda command. I like using just A, first of all, because it shows the agenda for current week or day. So let's do that. And what you see here is in four days, we get a reminder. Ah, you have a, an item to do. You need to visit on May. Where's the other items? They are not in this week. So check the dates. It shows the current week to go, you know, backwards and forward. In weeks, use F and B. So let's go week forward. And it shows us all the time or all our actual scheduled activities. That's the agenda. We, uh, that's the agenda view, much rather. So on Monday, you have to go to work. It shows us the file. Lesson one. That's the file. That's the category. 7.30 is the time and it's scheduled and it's a to-do item. You can change the timestamp by days, right? You can do this very easily with shift and left and right. So you can move days. If you, you know, maybe you noticed, no, maybe you don't want to work uh, to go to work on Monday. Maybe you would like to go to work on Wednesday. That's cool. You know, you can, after you close this, you are going to notice that if we move to lesson one org, we are not going to have go to work moving somewhere else. That's intended. But the date changed, right? There's a reason to this because these, for us, they are days. Our headings are days, but they don't have to be. You can organize it any way you want. You can input any arbitrary text in here. Emacs doesn't know and it doesn't care that this heading is meant for this day. You have to move this item manually and that's about it. You can change its state and it, you know, it just, it, it's going to work beautifully. So let's, let's save this. Let's talk about some more fun stuff because some of your tasks are going to be repeated. All right. Let's say you have this go to work thing every Wednesday and you have to keep typing it in for every single Wednesday. Now, luckily, uh, Emacs kind of takes care of it for you. So all you have to do is add a certain modifier, so to speak, to your schedule. Now the modifier is actually very simple to understand. It's very simple to write. So let's do it. After your time, after your day, I'm going to type plus one W. That's it. Save this. Open our org agenda again. <coughs> and if you move to the next week, we have this go to work on the 17th of January, Wednesday. If we go to the next week, it's still scheduled. Next week it's still scheduled, next week now it's going to be scheduled forever until you mark it as done. Okay? So there is that. There's another modifier that you can use. Be 
because there is an issue with this task. If you were to set this modifier to a task in the past that you'd like to say repeat because you failed doing it, it's going to increment one week with this modifier, but it's going to set it in the past. You cannot time travel and you know do your work in the past. So there is a nifty command that you can use to or in this modifier really to make sure that the next occurrence of this is in the future. All you have to do is add an additional plus sign. So that's it. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do. So now you know the go to work is always going to be in the future, even if we land. Let's say today was the 22nd of February. This wouldn't be here, and these wouldn't either. But the next week, this one would actually work, because we set it up this way. So these are the two modifiers that I would like to show you for now. You can now actually, and I highly encourage you to do so, organize your week, organize your work. Just do it. Take all the stuff you have to do, put it in a nice org file. Don't forget to um, set this variable to point to your files and maybe you'd like to use um, different files, right? Why not? Or even better, maybe you want to use a directory with your org files. Maybe multiple directories and you can, you can do this as well. You can use it, you know, you can set it up in one command. So for instance, I can set this to, let's say I call it append, I'm missing a parenthesis here, and it is append, I'm going to be using, uh, yeah, wildcards. And with wildcards, I can point it to, say, in my home directory, maybe there is a work, work files. Files directory, and in this directory, we would like to grab everything that ends with org because why not, right? Maybe that's exactly what you want, and you can do even more. You can add another uh, file here, uh, or another directory, much rather. And maybe you have like personal org files, and just use you know, this asterisk as a wildcard. And that's it. Oops, I kind of messed up here. My only oh, yes. So you can do something like this. Even you can have a lot of org files. You can have like one massive one. Some people are into that. I'm not a big fan of this. Just experiment with it. Go crazy. You can now use Emacs to manage your life. I hope you learned something new from these videos. Uh, we've got a lot more to cover. Let's be honest. We've got a lot more to cover. Our mode is pretty massive. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.